There's this Bible story. Two women both claim to be the mother of the same child. My client is prepared to offer scheduled visitation every other weekend. King Solomon had to choose. That is ridiculous, and she knows that Sophia cannot take a six-hour flight by herself twice a month. That would be a hard no. Hold, please. Two mothers. Only one gets the kid. We knew they shoot that down. They are shooting everything down because they're being unreasonable. They have the luxury of being unreasonable right now. We have less than 12 hours to try to settle. Their witness lineup is better, and they know it. We have Richard Weber. Maybe we should put April on the stand. Kevner, no. We're not calling a witness. You just fired as a patient. But she's seen me with Sophia more than anyone, and she's a good person. She'll tell the truth. No, she's a wild card. It's too risky. Weber's good. He better be. What is your client prepared to offer as an alternative? Solomon came up with a plan. He proposed a 50-50 split. Visitation rights for Dr. Robbins on school breaks and summer. That puts us right back where we started. Literally. He offered to chop the kid in half. It's a reasonable compromise. Yeah, well, you can take your compromise and shove it Oh, no, you know what? You can... Arizona, look at me. We are at an impasse here. If we don't settle, if we go to trial, you risk losing it all. Only one of you is walking out of that court with sole custody. I am painfully aware of that. Then I urge you to consider their offer. Their offer is insulting. That would be a hard no. Hold. It all ends if one mom relinquishes her custody. Gamble. We're here. Or else they both stand their ground. We'll see you in court. And the kid gets torn apart.